Good morning, FC FC kids. I hate that we can't be together today, but because of all the stuff that is going on in the world, we can't have service at FCFC this weekend. So we decided to do FCFC kids right from my living room. So I have the wonderful Miss Amy here with me today. And she's not a real big fan of being on the camera, but she's here anyway with me. She's got something to tell you in a minute. But last week at FCFC Kids, we talked about fear and how God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and a sound mind. And we talked about how a lot of people with this, this crazy thing that's going on, people aren't thinking straight, they're scared. And us as Christians, we have to keep our head and think straight. We have to love. We have to love people and help people any way we can. And then we have to show God's power to them. Well, whether it be the power to heal or the power that God gives us to tell them about Jesus and how we have the power to be at peace during this time. And that shows them what Jesus can do in our lives. Now, one of the things that we're going to do, we're going to do a special way for you to help the people in our area. And Miss Amy is going to tell you about that right now. So what we're going to do, Pastor Terry has decided that we as a church, we're going to start um, distributing what we can. The Bible talks about when people came and they would give things and then the church would give it to the people who needed stuff. So um, whether it's diapers or wipes, food, but for kids, we are asking you to gather up change. I bet you can look in your mom's couch or ask your parents for change. And we're asking you to gather up your change just like we do for Heart for the House. Get your change together and we're going to have your parents um, either maybe take it from you and write a check and mail it to the church or they can bring your baggie of change and drop it off at the office during the week at church. Um, but we're going to use that money to then when somebody reaches out to the church that they need help with food or they need toilet paper, the church, because they're who, who's looking for toilet paper? Um, so then we can use it to help people in the church. And with that, if you want to mail it to, you can mail it to P.O. Box 116, Warrington, Missouri, 63383. Now, the next thing we usually do after an intro and announcements is have praise and worship. I'm going to, on this link on Facebook, I'm going to post um, some of our songs that we have. So did you have them throughout the week? And you can just press play, parents, for your kids and let them dance around. We've been having dance parties at our house right before we go to bed to get some of the rest of that pent-up energy out and let us sleep good. And let me tell you, for two nights, our kids have slept amazingly well, the best they've slept in years. So parents... Please, please be a part of this with them. Help them. I really want the kids to think about others during this time and how we can show the love of God and help them change the world. All right, guys, I'm back. And um, I want to read some scriptures to you. And I just want to talk about those scriptures. And in a minute, we're actually going to go over to my kitchen and have a nice little object lesson about what we're going to read about. But... Um, you know, with all the stuff that's going on, I talked about fear last week. I'm going to talk about it some today, too. Um, now, during the week, every day, we're going to send you something um, for your kids or for the parents um, and different people from our wonderful FCFC Kids Dreams team and uh, FCFC Kids staff. But uh, I want to read from Psalms 91 today. Now, kids, I want you to just pay attention and uh, parents, we're going to have some discussion questions on the Facebook page um, on the below. And I, we really ask you guys to just, after this is over, as a family, just talk about the discussion questions. And then hopefully you guys are watching uh, Pastor Terry's sermon before this. And if your kids are around, talk about some of the stuff that uh, that he brings up. Um, I was there when they recorded it on Wednesday, and it's very, very good. So if you haven't watched that, be sure after this you watch that. But in Psalms 91, it says this, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. He will rescue you from every trap 
and protect you from every deadly disease. Kind of like what's going on right now. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are for your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of night, nor the arrow that flies in the day, nor do not dread the disease that stalks in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. You know, before they canceled school, a lot of us heard a lot of different things about this uh, COV idea, whatever, uh, coronavirus. And a lot of people, you know, my, my son Perry, you guys know Perry, he got really scared about it. He heard all kinds of stuff. And he was scared. So, you know, one day we just told him, God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, you know. And we started talking about some of this stuff. Um, Though a thousand may fall at your side, through ten thousand may die around you, the evils do not touch you. God talks about how he will be our protection. Kind of like a mama bird uses her wings to shelter her babies and how he's on top of them and he's protecting them from all the things around him. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. No plague will come near your home. Wow. God says, if you trust me and you love me and I'm going to, and you just believe that I can do it, I'm going to protect you. And no plague, what does it say right here? Where is it? No plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Even if that means you're stuck in your own house. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush the fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with long life and give you my salvation. God promises long life. He'll, he'll protect us. Now, I have an object lesson. We're going to go in my kitchen in a minute. And I want to show you how important it is for us to have God's protection on us and believe it and accept it. So, hey, let's go to the kitchen. Hi guys, we just read the 91st Psalm. Now we're in my kitchen. I have a cool example how this really works. And it says, he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. And several times in there, he says he'll protect us from a disease. Now I have an orange here, and I love oranges. But to get an orange, you have to peel them first. And this kind of represents us. If we... Do this. If we let people influence us or we hear things that scare us, can we let that take control of life? It's like we're peeling the orange and God's protection is going away. You see, a lot of people are saying a lot of crazy things right now that people aren't going to have food or all these people are going to die and this and that. And it's a really scary time. And I get it. But every time we, they say it and we let fear or we we'll believe what they say instead of what God says, it's peeling the orange. Now, to, to, to have an orange, you have to peel it. But you're peeling the orange. And, and you keep listening and you keep getting scared and you keep doing all this other stuff and it's getting really juicy. Oh. Mm. And you start to get a little squished and it's, it's just not good. See, by the time, if we believe everything that we heard and everything that's going to happen with this, it's like a completely peeled orange. And as good as this is, I want to show you this. If we don't have God's protection and we believe everything, when the trial test comes, what happens? We sink and we drown. But 
if we believe everything God says, and he says, I will always protect you. I will heal your diseases. I will provide all your needs. I will cast out fear. I will, you will always be with me. If we do that, and God continues to, to uh, can we continue to listen to God, and then we get thrown in the trial or thrown in the water. Watch what happens. The orange floats. And with the orange floating, if it floats, guess what? We're not drowning. God keeps us safe. And I want you guys to remember that. You need to remember the things that God tells you on an everyday basis. You need to read the promises that God has in his Bible about healing, about peace, about having the things that you guys need to, to live and your parents and your family and to have long life. You need to read your Bible and find out exactly what he says. Because every time someone says something about this crazy thing that's going on, you say, no, but God says that he'll give me long life. God says that he'll heal my body. God says it'll provide all his needs. Now, I know I talked a lot about fear, but I think you guys need to know this today. Remember, if you believe God, he protects you. If you rely on yourself and believe all the bad things around you, you sink. You know, the biggest way we do this, first and foremost, the number one way God protects us is he loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus. And the first step to getting God's protection is asking Jesus in our heart. Now, I know most of you guys that are watching are from SCFC Kids, and I hope you guys know Jesus, but there's going to be some people that watch this and they don't know Jesus. So I want to give them the opportunity right now to hear about Jesus. And I want you to do this. Jesus came, he lived a perfect life, he took all of our sin. And, he, and every time we do something that God tells us not to do, it's called a sin. And sin will kill us. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. And sin will kill us. And we don't want that. We want to live. But God loved us so much, he gave us Jesus. And Jesus lived a perfect life. And he died on the cross for us, but he took all of our sin. And he gave us the gift of eternal life to live with God forever. Now, if I give you something, you have to take it. And the way we take God's gift to us is we ask Jesus in the heart. We believe and we confess with our mouth. We say what we believe. And if you've never, ever done that before, I want you guys to pray with me right now. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all these wonderful people that are watching this. Lord, I just pray for anyone that doesn't know you to come to you. Lord, I just ask you right now to convict their heart. I ask you now to help them make a decision. Now, if you never asked Jesus in your heart, I want you to do this. You've asked Jesus in your heart, haven't you? Yes. All right. So if you never asked Jesus in your heart, I want you, and you want to, I want you to repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, Thank you for sending Jesus. I believe Jesus came to earth, lived the perfect life, and died for me. I ask you now to come into my heart and forgive me. I believe God raised him from the dead. I know my life will never be the same again. And I put Jesus in charge of my life now. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you did that for the first time, please message us at a, my email address is jeremy at fcfc.tv or send us a message on Facebook. We would love to hear from you. Kids, if you guys got questions or you want me to pray for something for you, have your mom and dad contact with contact me or Miss Amy. Amy's uh, email address is amy at fcfc.tv. We are so excited to have church this morning, even though we can't be with you. But remember, if you let God protect you, you don't sink. But if you have fear in your life, and you listen to all things that are going on, and you believe that and not God, you sink. We love you. Thank you, parents. There's some discussion questions on this Facebook page. 
I ask you now to just to do a few questions with your kids. Let us know how it goes. Give us some suggestions. This is the first time we've done anything like this before. It is a new day. We love you. Have a great day. I'll see you in two weeks. Two weeks, guys. Only two weeks.